going on YouTube, Gio's not right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3. This time the news is coming from Tim Starr, a security researcher in our community, who posted an update for libtakeover. He posted here, quote, just pushed an update to libtakeover. With a small modification of the Powan Sandbox Escape exploit, you can now call arbitrary functions as well as read, write and alloc memory in PowerD using libtakeover. Here is your socket, Ned Williamson. He followed up with this, quote, pushed my changes to PowerD exploit with Ned Williamson's kernel panic POC and added the link in there. This kernel panics my iPhone 5s on 12.1.2. And then of course he posted, quote, it's nothing too fancy just yet, but the kernel bug looks really promising. For those of you who do not know Tim Starr, he's been making jailbreaks for a while now. He made the double helix and the helix jailbreak with Saiguza. And of course he gave us the exploit we used on the iOS 12.1.2 jailbreak for the 4K devices. So he's definitely skilled in the security research. Now, the PowerD exploit existed for quite a while, it's been posted two months ago by Hex36 in here, at least this is the earliest project I can find, and of course it's been posted on March 28, and it says in here, quote, Sandbox escape to root for Apple iOS lower than 12.2 on A11 devices, and of course lower. And of course Tinstar posted his in here, which is basically the same thing, the PowerD exploit with a Sandbox escape to root, but with lib takeover support and kernel panic POC. Now, as he said, in here the lib takeover basically allows you to control the uh, power d and it says in here with small modification of the power d exploit you can now call arbitrary functions as well as read write and allocate memory in power d now what is this well this is actually a pretty good vulnerability it's basically a sandbox escape and privilege escalation so it can definitely be used for a jailbreak however this doesn't give the tfp0 or kernel task port, so we cannot use it right away without any other vulnerabilities. We still need a kernel bug or a kernel vulnerability, and the one provided by Ned Williamson of Google Project Zero doesn't provide TFP0. However, as Timstar points out in here, the kernel bug is actually really promising and we might be able to exploit it in a way that we can get the TFP0. However, Ned Williamson did not post anything related to that and he said that he's not sure whether the exploit can or cannot get TFP0, but he will look further for more bugs. So for the moment, we do have quite a lot of vulnerabilities, including these posted by Timstar, which seem to be very, very powerful but we still need TFP0. The kernel task port basically allows us to read and write the kernel memory in order to apply the patches. Now, it's important to apply the patches, especially to escalate our own privileges and of course to disable various security checks. For example, if you have a process, the application that you use for jailbreaking, you may want to escape the sandbox, you may want to give yourself root, and you may even want to basically change your entitlements, you know, that are used by Amphi or Apple Mobile File Integrity, in order to do that you need to change your record inside the kernel which basically contains a process structure which contains all your information including your effective unique id your real unique id and so on and of course the uh, sandbox profile related labels that have to be changed in order to be able to escape the sandbox and in order to escalate your privileges and so on. The entitlements are a little bit more complicated, they're part of both a structure in the kernel, a label used by Amphi, but also part of the binary itself and you can replace them in the kernel memory so that you can have various other entitlements that you wouldn't normally have. For example, I don't know, you can get yourself platform application and you can do a lot more than a sandbox application. And then of course there are other Amphi entitlements that you have to have in order to be able to provide a jailbreak that works reliably. So patching the kernel is definitely necessary. We need to be able to do it in kernel so that we can escape the sandbox of any process and of course we can rootify any process we want. But yeah, this is a very very good start. I appreciate a lot dim starts work and as you can see in here it does provide a way to read write and allocate memory in power d which is a little bit more privileged than your average sandbox application so it's definitely a good idea anyways that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i'm geosnow and till the next time peace out